Hi, this is Chris Massiello from vitamincm.com, and today we're going to talk about taking web applications and turning them into desktop applications using site-specific browsers. So the tool that I have on my Mac desktop is called Fluid. I'm going to launch that right now. And it's a pretty simple wizard. It asks you for the URL. So the website that I want to turn into a desktop application is pandora.com. So I'll put the URL in. Then I need to give it a name. And where do I want to locate it? So I want it to go into my applications folder, just like all my desktop applications. Now it's going to use the site's favicon to create an icon for the application, which I really don't like, but I'll show you. I could change it now. I'm going to show you how to change it later on, though. So I'll click Create to create the application, and I'll launch it. So when the application opens up, it will have Pandora in its own special little window. I'm going to hit pause on it right now so you can hear me talk. And that's it. You could do whatever you want to it. You can resize it, things like that. Now, there's a little button here. If I click this, it will expose the, uh, the page window for the browser. What I want to do is open up a separate tab here for a new window, and I'm going to go to a site called userscripts.org. This uses GreaseMonkey scripts, which are little custom JavaScripts to customize web-based applications, and you can do this in Firefox. You, you can also do it here to customize this. Uh, in my browser, I have a couple scripts that I want to use. So this one modifies the way the player looks a little bit, so I'll load it up in my site-specific browser, click install to install a script, and there's another one that I want which will send a growl notification to my computer so that it will just do a little pop-up window every time the song changes. So I'll go to that page and install that script. Now I want to close that little tab, and I also want to hide that window so it just looks like a regular application. And if I refresh the page, it will just install those scripts. And you can see here the growl notification came and showed me what song was playing. I'm going to pause it again. Now the really cool thing is you can customize the window, so you don't have to leave it to the default size that it opens. So I really only care about the player. So I'm going to resize it to there. You can do some other options too. So if you go here to Pandora Preferences, you can set things. So if I go to General, I can set how it opens up, things like the application icon. I have an application icon on my desktop that I'd rather use. So I'll go here, click that, say Open. So now it's going to use that better icon. I can change some other settings, so the window style, I can change it to black, which I happen to like that one. You can also change the window opacity, so if I wanted to be slightly transparent, I could just tweak that down a little bit. There's a bunch of other settings that you could fiddle with to make it as custom as you want it to be. And when you're done, you just close this, and I'll hit refresh. If you notice now, the transparency has been applied, so you'll be able to see this window from behind here. Now, I'm going to actually close this, and I want to relaunch the application. So I'll go to my Applications folder here, and this shows you all my desktop applications, typical desktop applications that I have installed here. And there's Pandora that I just created, so if I click it, it will open it up in the window. Now, it has that black wrapper around it. It's set to the size that I left it at. It has the transparency applied. Um, when it starts playing, you'll see you'll, the growl notification will tell me what song's playing. One, two, three, one. So you could do this with any website. So if you wanted to do it with uh, your Gmail account or Google Reader, or uh, I use Remember the Milk as another one, um, any website that you want, you can just create it as a little standalone application using uh, site-specific browsers. On the Mac, I use Fluid. If you're on Windows, you can use uh, Mozilla Prism, which is available actually on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, you can, If you have Google Chrome installed, you can use that to create site-specific browsers, and you can also use Bubbles on Windows, too. So that's site-specific browsers.